Welcome to my channel Daily Bulletin News. Unrest in peace, days of our lives Constantin is dead. But asterisk, still asterisk, may not be done wreaking havoc. Something tells us there won't be many tears shed over the death of days of our lives baddie Constantin. In fact, it's likely that there will be more than a few fans cheering his demise. After all, for a while there he made our beloved Maggie Horton Kyriakis look, well, kinda like a Nimrod. Clearly, however, head writer Ron Carlovati and his team, having recently reclaimed control of the show in the wake of the writer's strike which saw them sidelined for months, are determined to get the show back on track. And doing so meant eliminating Constantin while majorly upping the stakes where his secret partner in crime, Theresa, is concerned. Because just before drawing his final breath, in front of the Kyriakis crypt, ironically enough, Maggie's would-be husband whispered, you think this is over. But you're all stupid. There is still an enemy in your midst. In true cliffhanger fashion, the episode, recapped in full here, left Sander and the others wondering to whom Constantin could possibly be referring even as the Riza squirmed. Sure, people in Salem have a disturbing tendency to come back from the dead, but given that fans weren't particularly enamored with Constantin, despite a fine performance from John Capellos, it seems unlikely that the character will join the SRS, Selim Resurrection Society. At most, we might see Constantin in flashbacks as the story around Theresa's involvement with the man continues to play out. Capellos stepped into the part back in April of 2023, when he became briefly involved in the storyline which found hope in Harris in Greece. Several months later, when Brady and Alex began searching for answers about Victor's behavior in the weeks before his death, the trail led them to Constantin, who claimed to be an old friend of the deceased Kyriakis patriarch. From there, Constantin wormed his way into the lives of not only Maggie but everyone in her entire circle. Along the way, he committed what many fans consider to be the unforgivable sin of making Maggie look foolish. How, they wondered, could she not see through the obvious con man? By the time Maggie turned the tables on Constantin at the wedding, and he confessed to having murdered Victor. The writing was definitely on the wall, and it read, Constantin must die. Look for Constantin to continue to influence stories over the next week or two as Maggie finds out even more about the man to whom she almost committed herself. Plus, there are several big secrets still remaining to be revealed, including the truth about Sanders' paternity and Theresa's involvement in the dead man's schemes. Stay tuned and subscribe the channel.